Hello, welcome to the Math 135 video for transformations that undo themselves, intensity mild. My name is Professor Michael Poluk. The learning objectives for this video are, by the end of this video, you should be able to check if a transformation undoes itself for a given function, and also check if a transformation undoes itself for all functions. Let's start with some motivation. Here's a picture of an amazing magician. And let's imagine that we have a button that reflects this whole picture. So there's, there's an example. It, it just reflected the whole thing and changed the orientation. Now, what happens if we press this reflect button again? So if you reflect it again, it goes back to the starting thing. So let's reflect it, and then we reflect it back. So the idea here is that reflecting across a vertical line is a transformation that undoes itself. All you need is a button that says reflect, and if you press that button twice, you get back to where you started. So this is the idea of symmetry in mathematics, and it shows up a lot. So what sort of questions does this raise? Well, one question is, what other transformations undo themselves? Is it just reflections across a vertical line? Or are there other things? Another question we might ask is, how does this work algebraically? Or to put it sort of bluntly, if you're to use functions and variables and x's and f's, how would you describe it mathematically? Well, let's start with question two, since that will motivate question one. So how does this work algebraically using symbols? Well, a reflection across the y-axis can be described as follows. The reflection of f of x across the y-axis is the function f of minus x. So this is the transformation reflect across the y-axis. Now, if you were to do this again, you would have the function f of minus minus x. And hey, what do you know? This is equal to the original function f of x once you cancel things. So this gives us an algebraic reason for why this, types, this type of reflection actually works. Now, what else does this promote? Well, it makes us think of other ways that we can transform things. Instead of taking minus of the argument, we can take minus of the uh, function on the outside. So going back to our first question, what other transformations undo themselves? Our previous discussion was about taking a negative of the argument. And this sort of makes us think about how can we play around with minus signs in other ways. So if we take the minus sign outside, well, this corresponds to reflecting across the x-axis. So the reflection across the x-axis is taking f of x and getting minus f of x. Now, can you see what happens when you apply this twice? Well, you'll get minus minus f of x, which will again cancel to just f of x. So we see that reflecting across the x-axis is also a type of transformation that undoes itself. Let's see this visually. So here's our famous magician again. And if we press our reflect across the horizontal axis button, we get this guy. And if we press that same button, we get back to the beginning. So then the observation is that reflecting across a horizontal line is a transformation that undoes itself. Here are some other exercises for you to work on that take this concept further. Show that the transformation minus f of minus x undoes itself. This is a rotation by 90 degrees, actually. Show that the horizontal shift f of x minus pi over 2 undoes itself for the function sine x, but not for the function x squared. So it undoes itself for some functions, but not all functions. And here's a test level question. Xavier and Yolanda are playing a game where Xavier reflects the function e to the x across the x-axis and Yolanda reflects it across the y-axis. They each flip it 20-20 times, but you don't know the order in which they flip it. For example, Xavier could take two turns and then Yolanda, and then Xavier, and then Yolanda goes twice, but they each take 20-20 turns. Show that at the end, no matter what order they went in, e to the x is always in its usual orientation. Now let's take some time to reflect. 
What else works besides just reflections? Or are those the only things that undo themselves? Thank you very much and have a great day.